Welcome everyone, this is Quentin from Wicked Journey and today we are back at Nosberry Farm for our seventh visit here for the peanut celebration to try out some more food. So come with me and let's see what kind of trouble we can get into today. Okay, so we're gonna be headed towards the Wilderness Broiler, which is right over here. Where we're gonna get our meal. And this is one of the ones that are on for the uh, peanut celebration. Let's go eat. We're here at the Wilderness Broiler, and we're at the tables, and we're gonna enjoy our uh, pistachio crusted mahi-mahi. Uh, this is one of the dishes I've, I've kind of avoiding a little bit because I'm not a big guy on fish. Uh, I'll eat fish sticks and like, um, um, like like fish tender type things but uh, as far as like a fillet i kind of avoid that only because um, the bones that might be in there i mean i'm pretty sure all the bones are probably out but you know you never know and i'm like a murphy's law kind of guy if it's going to happen it's going to happen to me so <laughs> all right let me go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll take the first bite here let me uh, get a little bit of the rice here that's what that tastes like Rice isn't bad. Those go with the sauce. I think the sauce is maybe a lemon cream sauce, I think. All right, let me go ahead and get the uh, fish out here. Make my little cut. All right, there it is. Here's the other side of it. Let's see how it tastes. That's not bad. The fish is nice, juicy, and tender. I mean, you can see that right here. I mean, it looks really good right there. I'm probably gonna give it a, a four out of five cues. It's really good, it's well made. It's not dry, it's tender, but you know, I'm, I'm not really a big fish fan, so you know, if there's anything with fish, you know, I, I can't be the uh, advocate for that. So there's other reviewers who can give you more in depth about fish, but for me, not really being a fish guy, this is actually pretty good. So that's why I'm giving it a four. Um, I have really nothing to compare it to to say, oh, it's better than this or anything like that. But, you know, if you are here for the peanut celebration, you know, stop by the Wilderness Broiler and uh, it is on the meal plan. And go ahead and get yourself the uh, pistachio mahi mahi. And it's, it's pretty good. All right, guys, on to the next one. Okay, that uh, mahi mahi was actually pretty good. I uh, really liked it. And also the uh, rice pilaf, I didn't really talk about it. That was actually good, and I generally don't like rice pilaf, but it seemed to work. So, good on them, good for knots. Thank you, thank you for that, making everything on that dish good. All right, so we're gonna go and see some updates. We're gonna see uh, how the uh, brewery is going, and then uh, see what's going on with Cordy's Corner, because uh, I noticed there was some paper on the windows. Maybe they're prepping for something for the uh, Boysenberry Festival, I don't know. Let's go check it out and find out. Wow, they're like added to the structure. And I guess that's supposed to be part of where the signage is supposed to go. I don't know, we'll see. Here's an update on the concept art. Now it's going to be called Prop Shop Pizzeria, an Italian kitchen. Okay, as you walk up here to uh, Cordy's Corner, yep, they got paper all up and blocked from the inside. Makes you wonder what they're doing in there. Okay, well, after that uh, mahi mahi, 
Got a little bit thirsty, even though I got a boysenberry punch, but that's not the type of thirst I'm talking about. We're gonna head out to the Calico Saloon and see about getting the Sad Eye Joe if it's still available. All right, let's get to it. All right, we're on our way over to Calico Saloon. Okay guys, today we're doing the, oh, whoa. Ooh, I got a rocky table here. <laughs> uh, this is the Sad Eye Snake Juice. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try and see what it tastes like. Wow, kind of kind of sweet going in, and as it sits there, it gets a little little sour. It's actually pretty good. That's really good. Very citrusy. Kind of makes your pucker a little bit too. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, this one, this you can only get this at the Calico Saloon and it's not part of the peanut celebration. I've been dying to try it and the crowd level was low enough to where I can, you know, wait a little bit in line and get the drink. So it runs about $14. Uh, they do not give any discounts on their drinks, just to let you know. So I can't even use my season pass to get 20% off. It, it doesn't work that way. I'm gonna cut into this. Um, I forgot, I'm giving this a five out of five cues. Totally forgot to rate it. I've been dying to try it and I'm, I'm gonna forget to rate it. A V8 moment. All right guys, see you on the next one. Ah, that was good. It's kind of good to just hang out at the saloon, kind of relax with a drink in your hand, join a show. Well, by the time I sat down, there was no show. But uh, when I was getting my drink, there was a show, and that was very nice. All right, we're just gonna walk around a little bit, see if there's anything new, maybe some updates. Um, but uh, yeah, mainly it's just to walk off some of the food, walk off some of the drink, and uh, just uh, have a good time. All right, let's get going. Sutter's Pizza and we're gonna try out the uh, Charlie Brown Pizza. All right, see how it tastes. This is our last piece of food for today. This is the Fun Guy uh, Charlie Tri-Tip with, uh, well, it's pizza. <laughs> it's such a long name, but that's that's what that is. You have your arugula here, you got your Tri-Tip like right up here, uh, the cheese. They give you a pretty big slice. I mean, this thing takes up almost the whole plate, so. Um, I wasn't able to get it on the meal plan only because I'm, I didn't wait the four hours. But it, it was um, cheap enough to where I could use a discount, so it came out to about, well actually it came out to 7-Eleven. And I made a joke, said, how convenient. Yeah, I guess, I guess nobody got that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try here. I've never had an Knott's Berry Farm pizza before, so I'm not sure what to expect. Mmm, this is really good. The tri-tip's nice and, and tender. It has the, the tri-tip here hanging. Oh, it's nice and greasy the way pizza should be. Yeah. The arugula gives it like a nice little crunch to it. Cheese is really good, really good. I'm, I'm very impressed. I don't know why I haven't had pizza here before. I'm glad I did, I'm glad I tried it. I was gonna save this for later, but <laughs> I think I'm gonna polish it off. Then get me a drink at Starbucks and then head home. All right, guys. And this is going to be the last item that I'm reviewing for the uh, Peanut Celebration 2022. Um, I know there's uh, an item or two I probably missed, but we're in the last week of the Peanut Celebration. So by the time I review it, get it out there, 
it's going to be over. You guys aren't going to be able to try the food for the weekend. So I'm just cutting it here and then um, probably just do some updates uh, referring to the Boysenberry Festival. And um, I might start doing a, a series uh, concerning the uh, Ghost Town Grill, try some of their food that's in there. And uh, let's go from there. All right, guys. As I say after every food item I review, on to the next one. All right, guys, that about does it for today. I enjoyed some good food, some good drink. Thanks for coming along and for the ride. And I appreciate uh, you watching my videos and making comments, good comments, I hope. If there's bad comments, we'll deal with those. Anyway, thank you very much. Until next time, till I take you to another wicked place. Good night, guys.